The Soviet KV-2 is a pretty infamous tank in War Thunder. Its gimmick is that it's the original big HE slinger. Of course, the major drawback with that is that the reload is very, very long. So what if you took the KV-2 and gave it a slightly more viable cannon? This is the KV-2 Ziz-6. It still has a pretty big gun, but the reload is significantly lower, and the penetration is much better. To me, it's sort of an off-brand KV-220, if that makes sense. I'm a little surprised you don't see more of these, but given it was removed from sale and the KV-85 exists, it starts to make a bit of sense. Stop moving. <laughs> this hurts too slow to track him. Ow. Um. <laughs> oh, there's another VK right there. Please don't notice me. I'm just a prop. I'm a building. You don't see anything. Oh, he got he got shot before I could shoot him. I was almost finished reloading. I'm not entirely surprised we were able to go through that VK that was angled because uh you know how Soviet APHEBC is. Uh -huh. There we go. There's another VK. No, 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 no. No, thank you. No, sir. No, sir, I would not like an 88 shell. You can keep that to yourself. Oh my god. <laughs> Very unfortunate that this building did nothing to <laughs> negate that bomb. Maybe it did. Maybe it would have killed us. Who knows? I, my brain blanked for a second. I couldn't tell what that was. For some reason, my brain was like, that's a tiger. Really channeling your average World War II allied tank crewman, assuming that everything's a tiger. Just sitting here and letting people drive into me seems to be working, so I think I might continue to do that. What are you? Oh, you're a firefly, I think. Let my compatriots know that you're there. No, T-34, no! Well, at least his death wasn't in vain. Listen, I know people are gonna say I let him die. I did call him out on the map. I did try to warn him. I know I have a bit of a reputation for letting my teammates run into enemies so I can kill them while they're reloading, but that was not one of those times. Uh, I kind of wish I had a little bit of HE. Actually, how much HE filler do we have? Um, yeah, it should be able to overpressure, assuming that it, um, you know, fuses. I do hear something, like, right there. Ah, uh, yep. VK. Once again, I am very out of it, so I apologize if I seem like more of an idiot than I usually do. Hello. I just did the <laughs> the rock eyebrow. Ow. Uh. Okay, I think the Churchill did that. I'm not quite sure how we non pen that Churchill. That's uh a little suspicious, a little sus if we're uh we're still saying that. Yep, man, if only there had been an anti air vehicle adjacent to me. That would have been helpful. Still though, nine kills isn't uh isn't too bad. Our gun depression is actually pretty good by Soviet standards, but uh, by any other standard, not so much. Ooh, angle, angle. Um, yeah, let's take out the M6 first. I think it's probably a good plan. I'm not too worried about the uh, T14, at least when it comes to dying to it. Killing it is another matter. Never mind, it exploded very violently. I feel like if I do this, I'm going to explode. But I don't see anybody off to my left. Uh. Oh. <laughs> That's very unfortunate. <laughs> we were so close to hitting his turret. Please, no bomb. No, dude. Really? If that tiny bomb kills me, okay. 
I was gonna say, if that tiny bomb kills me, I'm gonna lose my mind. He's got a 57 mil. That's it. We're doing anti-air duties if we can. If I can... Get elevation. Unfortunately, it appears that, uh, I cannot get elevation. Ah, Please, no bomb, dude. Leave me alone. <laughs> I have a single kill. Oh, <laughs> poor Hexer. Oh my god, dude, really? <laughs> this is... Ridiculous! How many bombs does a man have to endure? Ooh, hello. Goodbye. What is that thing? Oh. Who was that goober? In that thing? He had one ground kill before he got into the... Into the plane. Why? Why is that enough to spawn in a plane with a cannon? It's very unfortunate that the turret is the weakest part of this by far. Given that, you know, it's the part you have to expose to shoot people. Oh hey, another Ziz 6. And another one. What is that thing behind me? <laughs> it sounds exactly like a vacuum cleaner. And that KV-85 has no tracks. Ooh. Are you... <laughs> you cannot. Be for real, man. <laughs> what? How does that even happen? We have 155 mils of pen. Ugh. Gah. I can't tell if I just got shot by a teammate or what. This position appears to be suboptimal, but we gotta work with what we got. Ooh, you okay? You all good, man? Oh, wait, that Shiri is alive. Um. Ow, my breach. <laughs> I was just about to use that. That's rude. I thought that Shiri was dead because I thought, like, his brown camo was a, uh, a burned out tank. You know what? I'm going this way. This is probably a terrible idea, but I don't think anyone is watching. There we go. Ooh. Angle. Angle the turret. I think he is, uh, very intimidated by us. Oh, are you serious? The hitbox is in this game, man. You know, I'm just rushing. I know he has, like, a five-second reload. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Do not care. Oh, I see you trying to be cheeky. Not on my watch. Oh, no, you don't. Okay, I thought he was, like, trying to bait me by looking over there, but I guess he just, like, genuinely thought I wouldn't back up. That <laughs> seems a little silly to me. Why are there so many horos in this lobby? And by so many, I mean exactly two. I don't know how I managed to be a gremlin in something like this, but here we are, flanking the enemy from behind with a KV-2. I think there's a bad guy, like, right off to my right. Is this true or false? True. <laughs> Why did this turret pop off like that. That was quite comical if you ask me. Surely there will be someone literally right in front of me that I somehow did not hear. Yet another match where I have uh, stumbled my way into some success by the looks of it. That dude was hooting. I didn't... That's the fastest... I've ever seen a tiger move. Ow. I lived.
I haven't had to use a backup yet, which is honestly pretty surprising. I thought with how much of a stupid, big, blocky target we are, surely we would have been killed by a tank, like, once, but... Not so. I got that active camouflage, apparently. Uh, well, I have gun depression up here. Um... <laughs> I swear sometimes aiming in third person is more effective than, uh, actually scoping in. 450, that's like, what? Right there? Unfortunate. Highly unfortunate. Angle the turret. I don't think it'll help much, but you gotta try, you know? That's the ground. That's not. <laughs> Let's see if I can actually hit him this time. Nope, that's the ground again. There we go. Yeah, it's more of a uh, tank destroyer than a heavy tank, I think. Then again, I rarely, if ever, actually play a heavy tank, like a bullet sponge. Unless it's the T-14, that thing is just stupid. <laughs> I mean, it's the survivability onion, right? Like, just don't get shot. It's a very easy way to survive. What is our friend being shot by over here? Uh, crocodile by the looks of it. Given that I see flame spewing. Unless Gaijin decided to add smog into War Thunder. Yeah, it was a crocodile. That would be pretty sick, though, if they uh, got the rights for that. <laughs> like, have an event where you fight a dragon in a plane. That's something that happened in um, that one anime, right? Like, F4 versus dragon. They could probably get the rights to that DMM or whatever that uh, the, the Japanese partner company is called. Um... Suddenly, I... My brain is being jammed by the leaves. I can't see what... That tank is. There we go. And we actually hit it. Poor PVKB, man. Like, I mean, yeah, your cannon is good, but your reload's like... What? 12 seconds long? Oh, big bomb. <laughs> the house did nothing. Again. I'm guessing that was the crocodile. Yep. My deduction skills are insane, honestly. I should be a detective. I still have yet to die to a tank. Why is everyone starting to drive backwards now? You're not even an IS. That doesn't do anything for you. Right in the basket. Ow. I think I just got shot by heat. Yep. I think that's an IKV. Yep, I was indeed correct. Yeah, it looks like 8 or 9 seems to be the, uh, the average for this tank. You know what I wish? I wish they had made, like, a KV-85, but with this gun. Well, I guess they have that, um, that IS-1 with the 100 mil. That's pretty close. But it's also, like, 6.3 or 6.7. I didn't know we could go through a jumbo. He was like slightly angled too. Well, I guess that does make sense. The uh, 85 mil can do that, and we're a little bit more powerful than that. How did I not see that M36? Well, at least we finally died to a tank in the last match of the video. Are you... are you for real, man? Uh... <laughs> really, really not a huge fan of how this game works sometimes. Surprised we one-shot that, honestly. We didn't even fuse on it. I hope he's not, like, behind a rock or something. Okay, I think he is, yeah. Okay, yeah, he's behind a big rock. What? Okay. The man just tried to hit me with an anti-ship missile and failed miserably, I might add. 
Wait. Ooh. I think he actually managed to hit me with that uh, ricochet. Or something else shot me. Ow. That's what a f M4A3? That was. Oh, it was a firefly. That was an even dumber decision then. You don't even have a stabilizer. Hold your horses. Thank you. So yeah, that's the KV-2 Ziz-6. I do think that the KV-85 is just better, but it's still a pretty good premium option. I don't know if it's going to go on sale at any point in the future, but probably. It's definitely best played more as a tank destroyer than an actual heavy tank. Anyway, if you guys have suggestions for video topics, leave them in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one.